This is called Man in the Machine, and yes, it is a true story. This is the closest I ever get to punk. I meet him in the dark and noise, and he is elegance and poise, and everything that I have been warned about. I ask him what he does, and he tells me he's his own man, and it's clear he loves himself a bit too much. And when he takes to the stage and he sings of his rage, I wonder what he's got to be disconcerted about. Because after all, he's just a man in the machine, and the crowd, the crowd, the crowd, they cheer when he brings the changes of the time and place, and it is written on my face that if his song deserve to be heard, why don't mind? They cry on call. They always want more. So I corner him as he descends, and we talk about the songs he tends and plays. And then he tells me that Venus is my homeland, and I cannot understand the way the men from Mars go about things in their brains. And he says, I'll stick around and such, but I'm not expecting much. Who only rants and raves? Fair point. Because after all, he's just a man in the machine. And the crowd, the crowd, the crowd, they cheer when he rings the changes of the time and place. And it is written on his face that he sadly is all that he seems. They cry on call. They always want more. pedestal and I look right into his big blues and tell him of my comprehension but that his voice is easy listening but there's condescension lurking and nothing ever looks good dressed up in bad manners and he says it's all in jest so I'll applaud with rest but his insults still ring in my head because after all it's just a man in the machine when he smiles his pretty smile, we forget the hands aren't clean, hands the wonder and the stray, and the voice that seems to say, what do we know, we're just girls playing games, they cry on call, they always want more, little do they know of the songs that he's played, of the things he says stage, of the war he has a no 